Ahoy ahoy crew, let's go over Nizori from Monster Hunter 2. Nizori is a rank 2 monster that you can hunt on the Savage Coast. She is a large water fish monster that also counts as a boss. Nizori has 250 defense and 100 magic defense. This will reduce physical damage by around 35% and magical damage by around 45%. Keep these attributes in mind when choosing your gear and cards to fight her. Nizori will only spawn in the beach biomes. Whenever you carve a Nizori after battle, you will receive three of the following at random. Mermaid Scale at a 45% chance, Mermaid Harp Piece at a 33% chance, and Mermaid Bracelet at a 20% chance. You will also receive 5-10 to 10 Rose Gems at random. Every 9 hunts you will be given a serrated scimitar. Carving a Nizori while you have a serrated scimitar in your inventory will consume it, and give you one mermaid tail. This will take the place of one of your regular Nizori drops. You have a low chance to get a serrated scimitar after any successful Nizori hunt. Nizori has 10 skills she will use throughout the fight. Most of her skills are water property attacks, so wearing water property resistance and using a cold proof potion can help you survive. Siren's Echo. Nizori will cast Great Echo on a target, which is a performer class skill that deals damage to all enemies in an area around a target. She will cast this skill on the player with the most aggro in the party, usually the tank, so it's best to stay away from the tank if you don't need to be up close to Nizori. Trifrost. Nizori will cast Frost Diver on up to 3 players in the party. This has a high chance to freeze any target hit. I suggest wearing a Mark card to prevent awkward situations where you get trapped inside other skills because you are frozen. If you are the tank, you don't really need a Mark card since the frozen status will break when you take damage anyways. Icy Prism Nizori will project ice crystals at a single target that will give the crystallization status to anyone in the area of effect. This skill will cast on you twice in a row, be sure to dodge both. Charming Allure Nizori spawns two charms that will lure in the healer and one DPS party member at random. If a player gets lured in all the way, they will be instantly killed unless you kill the charm in time. Though the players being lured will be immune to all damage until the charm is broken. It is good to note that you are still able to use Farcaster to escape the lure if you know your party won't be able to save you. You can also be pulled back by the healer's covenant skill or phantom thrust from rune knights in order to buy more time. The charms are large water fish monsters with around 20 to 25 million HP. Mystical Crystals Nizori will spawn two crystals that protect her. While they are alive, they will reflect damage back to players who attack Nizori. Your party must destroy both crystals at the same time in order to destroy them. If you kill one, the other will start a timer to resurrect the destroyed crystal. So both crystals need to be destroyed quickly one after another. You can use Magnum Break or Jupiter Thunder to knock the crystals near each other that way you can use the area of effect skills to damage them equally. The crystals are small ghost monsters with zero defense and zero magic defense. Phantasmal Wave. Nizori will spawn an illusion beside a random player. After a short delay, a huge wave will flow in the direction the player was standing in when the illusion spawned. So if the illusion spawns here, the wave will push out in this direction. The wave will knock back and deal water property damage to all players caught inside of it. You can avoid the wave either by running diagonally with it, or rolling over the illusion before it spawns. Siren's Song Nizori will spawn blue and pink notes around her, as well as mark each player with a blue or pink aura. Then Nizori will start counting down. Each player must use the interact skill on three notes of the color they were marked with before the timer runs out. If a player fails to collect the notes, they will be smited and die instantly. When a player picks up a note, it will disappear, so make sure to spread out and not fight your party for the exact same notes. 
if a player picks the wrong note, they will be stunned for a few seconds. Aqua Missile Nizori sends out a homing missile that targets a random player. The missile will kind of follow the player around for a while before exploding and creating a deadly area of effect on the ground. Standing in this area will deal a lot of damage to you continuously. Ice Trap Nizori quickly stuns the nearby party before teleporting them inside a giant ice ring. The party must destroy the ice wall or Farcaster out to escape. While inside the ring, Nizori will call down ice meteors from the sky and will spam them more frequently as time goes on. The ice wall is a large water monster with zero defense and zero magic defense. Different sections of the wall will share HP, so you need to make sure all of your DPS focus one section in order to break the wall as fast as possible. I highly recommend choosing a large ice pillar to focus damage on. If your party focuses on an area of the wall that only has small ice pillars, then single target DPS, like Cross Impact GX, won't be able to target the wall and you will lose DPS for destroying the wall. Once you kill one section of the wall, the entire ring will fall and ice meteors will stop soon after. If the party breaks the wall, Nizori will be stunned for a few seconds. If the party does not break the wall, Nizori will heal a large amount of HP. Rage Mode When Nizori enters Rage Mode, she will screech in a circle around her after a few seconds. Any players caught inside the area will be inflicted with the Dizzy status. While enraged, Phantasmal Wave will deal more damage and the wave will spawn faster. Siren's Song will have a lower countdown, and players who interact with the wrong note will take a large amount of damage as well as become stunned. Aqua Missile will deal more damage, and the Ice Meteors inside of Ice Trap will deal more damage. That's all there is to know about Nizori. If this guide helped you, subscribe to the channel, share this video with friends, and I'll see you in the next video.